today we will be looking on patch management okay how we need to apply the patches okay so i think you can see the screen right yes sir okay so there will be uh, actually this patch management is also done by the senior consultant having minimum 2 to 3 years of experience okay but you should know that how how we can uh, we will not apply the actual patches but we will we will go through the process of patching okay don't forget to subscribe our channel and click on bell icon to update yourself with latest sap videos what we need to look for what is the prerequisite and uh, from which client we need to apply the patch what is the user we need to use okay so all that stuff we will be looking today so before that uh, i was just going through this server and i think uh, the patch is not downloaded okay so just give me uh, some 5 minutes i will just download that patch okay and then we will start okay so if you see the screen actually there is no i think on this spam have spam spam has been downloaded so what i will do is i will download the other patches also okay so give me some 5 uh, minutes i will download it okay okay so i downloaded this basis patch okay so before to start with like uh, we will we'll learn some basic part of patch management okay so this patch management generally it comes under uh, upgrade part okay so if you remember uh in our in our uh, demo session also and during our first session we have just discussed the responsibility of sap basis consultant right so there if you see we have seen various uh, various points like what what will be the responsibility of basis consultant like it will be sap monitoring sap configuration sap troubleshooting sap upgrades so this upgrades actually this is nothing but the patch management okay so so if you remember like uh, we also discuss in one of the uh, like during kernel upgrade we discuss right what is the use of upgrade why we need to do the upgrade so <clears throat> during kernel upgrade we discuss this point right so can anyone explain me like why 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 we need upgrade actually any 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 reason why why we do the system upgrade or now you are using the iphones right uh, not iphones but you are using the smartphones right so this smartphones uh, i think in some uh, some of your phones there will be some messages right coming within 15 days or in one month that there is a there is a upgrade of the version or there is a upgrade patch available so why why it is required to come over bugs or for new features yeah so in the in the same way uh, actually this sap upgrade is nothing but the same actually the basic remains same okay but here what happens like in sap uh, there there are various ways to do the upgrade okay so suppose now i i just clicked on this and i will just log in into this development server so we'll just first try to understand the basic part okay so if i use the transaction here spam okay spam is generally used to do the patch management okay this is one of the transaction okay so if i use this transaction and i do this spam here if i click on this package level so if you see here uh, in sap netweaver there are only these four components okay abap basis pi basis and sap bw so generally this uh, this product is used for 
business warehousing okay if you see here sap bw business warehousing okay which is uh, nothing but it is also called sap business intelligence bi okay so generally this product is used for uh, sap business intelligence okay and this product is integrated with ecc that is enterprise central component okay so what happens like uh, say for example now i need to do the upgrade okay so here you can you can do the upgrade for single package also okay but nowadays it is not recommended to do the single package okay so but yes you if if you want to do a particular single component upgrade that is also possible say suppose now this level is 3 okay we want to ch change or we want to take this level to 4 okay so that all, that can also be possible okay now the other thing is that we can we can do the total upgrade also total upgrade means what all these four components will be upgraded at the same time okay for that we can use the tool called zoom so if you see here Don't forget to subscribe our channel and click on bell icon to update yourself with latest SAP videos. So when this Zoom tool can be used, the Zoom tool can be used if you want to upgrade the release, okay, or if you want to upgrade the SPS upgrade. So there are there are two three types of patch management, okay. First is you can up, update upgrade single component also. Okay, single component upgrade can be used, can be done using the transaction spam. Okay. And if we need to upgrade the total product as such you want to upgrade or you want to upgrade we can say SPS upgrade or release upgrade. So this can be done using the tool Zoom. Zoom is nothing but software update manager. So as I told you this patch management is generally done by the senior consultant okay but but as a fresher you should also know actually what what is there in patch management okay so sps upgrade or release upgrade means what okay say for example now we have installed S sap nw okay that is netweaver 7.0 ehp1 okay and now we want to upgrade it to SAP NW 7.5, which is the latest release 7.5. This is the old release 7.0. So we will use this Zoom tool, okay, software update manager to do this upgrade. That means what all these components release will change from 701 to 705, and all these components will be upgraded. Okay, and this will be done including kernel so software update manager will do everything for us okay means this is a tool we can say this is a tool which will be used to upgrade the release from sap netweaver 7.0 to 7.5 okay so this is one of the method and for